Chuck! So guys, Terry Wood here. So after a while, I'm finally ready for the full review about the HP Windows Mixed Reality headset over here. But before, thanks so much for watching. And if you're new from the channel, feel free to check out all the other video in the channel. If you like what you see and wanna keep being updated about VR and tech in general, please consider to subscribe, clicking or tapping the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. That would be a super, super appreciated and will help a lot our small channel. But now let's start to be in topic again and let's talk about some specs about the HP Windows Mixed Reality headset. The HP is part of a Windows Mixed Reality family, as you can see from the brands pretty much everywhere. So it used the two cameras in the front for the tracking of the headset and the controller, no external sensor are needed. It rocks two LCD display 1440 by 1440 in resolution, so more resolution than Vive and Oculus, less than the Samsung Odyssey, of course and the FOV is 95 degrees. It uses Fresnel lenses and IPD has a range from 55 to 70 millimeters. It's not adjustable physically, but just in the software. So there's something that you have to be aware of. It has no included audio, it's pretty bare bone system, or you're gonna rely on the headphone jack over here for audio and microphone too. And the cable is a detachable and that's pretty cool, but it's not super long, 13.1 feet long and it has the flipping mechanism that's super, super useful to get in and out in VR in a second. The device is all in our plastic, but in contrast with its price point, it feels pretty, pretty sturdy and premium. It uses a Nalo style for the fitting with the dial on the back to close. It depends on the, of course, the shape of your head and the paddings here in fake leather are pretty, pretty nice, but are not replaceable. Different thing for the foam, for the face that is completely irrepressible but I also have to say that the device is never gonna press much on your face so probably you're not gonna need to change it anyway it has no light bleeding at all and that helps also from the nose padding over here there is very very nice and I really hope more manufacturer will gonna start to use the same solution because never gets in the way and blocks completely all the light from there and that's pretty pretty good the device fits pretty well on your face and will consider pretty pretty comfortable but that without the cable because what about the cable it's great that is detachable it uses a proprietary cable to do that and it's great for working environment or plug and play environment where you just keep your hdmi and usb connected to the computer and then you're good to go you just plug in the the headset by itself and it's great for storage and stuff but on the other side the ring over here is too close to the side of the headset and this part with the other cable connection become pretty pretty heavy so the headset is gonna lie every time on your ear over here or on the side and pre being pretty pretty heavy is gonna take out from the sweet spot every time and talking about the sweet spot the spot where you can see clearly through the lenses it's very very small and i found myself having problem with it even in easy games like elite dangerous where you don't really have to move a lot and when the headset moves down and take it out and makes your vision a kind of blurry from one eye it's pretty pretty annoying and also takes out a lot of immersion that with the narrow fov that is 95 degrees make it more ideal for seated experience than really for gamings where we have to move a lot talking about the screen it's an lcd display so it's not the usual technology that we've seen with other vr headsets like the oculus the Vive or so the Odyssey recently where they use OLED display or AMOLED in case of the Samsung but being an LCD is gonna have a little ghosting It's nothing super super noticeable but yeah it's there and the colors are not gonna be super vibrant of course the black are not gonna be super black and everything is gonna look a kind of dim and it's very noticeable for me because I'm coming every time from using the Vive or when I was using the Odyssey or using the Oculus. But really, if you grab it, it's just a really pretty good display where the refresh rate is just as you expected. So it can hit the 90 Hertz and that's pretty good. So it's not gonna create any problem for like motion sickness or other stuff. 
also having a more narrow FOV um, the 1440 by 1440 resolution is gonna be even increased because the pixel density is gonna look better so the screen door effect is not gonna be super noticeable and also like it's gonna be pretty easy when they are in the sweet spot of course to read text or like menus and stuff and that's a pretty pretty good thing and for you fine people with glasses the expert said that it's pretty pretty good it's fit pretty pretty well even with big glasses and she's considered it the most comfortable to wear she even tried the Vive, Rift, Odyssey, the Lenovo. Your glasses are not going to touch the lenses, so the headset is not gonna stack your glasses in your face, and that is gonna improve the comfort, and that's because the lenses are pretty far from your face, and that's how it's explained, the trade-off on the FOV on this part. It's just perfect for people with glasses. And as I said before, there's not included audio, you're gonna all rely from the headphone jack over here, that, as I said in other video, is the most stupid placement ever. So I really suggest you to get some wireless headphones if you're going for the HP to like avoid the weird tricks with the headphones and how to run all the cable around they're gonna like ruin a little the static and sometime also the comfort of the headset what about system requirements are pretty pretty low you can start to run the headset even with an integrated graphic card the 620 but the experience is gonna be just 60 Hz that's good for video or immersive web video but not for gaming at all. If you wanna start with gaming, you need the ultra experience and there's gonna need at least a 1050 Ti and that's good and not super high. It's good because it's not a Cracto Miner's crazy graphic card and it's gonna be able to give you the experience at 90 hertz. That is the same experience you're gonna have with all the other VR headset. And being part of the Windows Mixed Reality family make it the most flexible kind of device because you're gonna be able to play games from the Windows Mixed Reality Store, from Steam VR, and also from Oculus Store to revive. And that's pretty, pretty good. The setup is the easiest part. Be sure to have Windows updated to the last false greater update and you just pair your controllers via bluetooth and you go through the super super easy and super fast setup and you're good to go it's actually the easiest setup ever thanks to the platform and that's thanks to the kind of tracking so like all the other windows mixed reality use the inside out tracking that means that the two cameras are gonna track the position of the headset in the space and no other external sensor are needed and that's super super good for portability i did a video about that over here also when you're gonna lose the tracking if you're like too close to a wall or to the floor it's gonna switch like flawlessly to 3d of so to three degrees of freedom where it's gonna use the gyroscope that inside to just have the rotational so if you are in a seated experience you're never even gonna notice and if you're too close to the floor, you're really sometimes too close. That is the moment when you're really eating the floor or the wall with your headset. And that's not pretty ideal. So the two cameras are also used for the tracking of the controllers. And when these rings with all the lights are inside, the tracking is gonna be pretty much perfect. It's not gonna be perfect when you're gonna be out of the field of view because they're gonna be tracked just if you keep the movement. So if you wanna grab something from the back, it's gonna be possible because the movement will continue. But if you stop outside the field of view, they're gonna just be stuck in space and they're just gonna work in the rotational that makes a little difficult sometimes to use like a ball where it goes out from your field of view and if you want to change the direction of the error it's not going to be possible but you are going to have to turn all of it or go back inside and do it again and that's not super super idea also the tracking sometimes get lost when you're very very close to the cameras like when you are aiming with a rifle on stuff the controllers are not the most comfortable or ergonomic out there for sure but they have a lot of buttons and that's pretty pretty good because you're gonna be able to play every vive or oculus game without 
never missing a button, even if I'm a strong believer that no buttons are needed in VR. But by the way, it gives a lot, a lot of different possibility for all different games. And they use a lot of battery too. So be sure to change to rechargeable battery pretty, pretty soon, or you're really gonna burn a lot of battery with all this LD lighting up. Wrapping everything up, I have to say that I really enjoyed the, this headset. Maybe for the red look, maybe for the premium quality that really feels premium for their nice price point. It's very, very sturdy. And for the touchable cable, it's very, very nice solution, even if not super implemented. And just feel everything like a pretty well towed device, aside, of course, from the headphone jack over here. But the FOV that is narrow and the sweet spot, they kind of take out all the magic and the immersion about it. And that's pretty, pretty sad. I will not recommend it like the best gaming headset out there for sure but this will be perfect maybe for presentation for people that they have just to like switch in switch out the headset from different people that have glasses or not or if you are a developer that you want something to go fast out out and in in from vr to check your code uh, something more for a seated experience or easy video experience than something for gaming because the fact that the cable is pretty much taking off the FOV takes out a lot a lot of immersion and that's not really ideal for gaming of course so if you want to save some bucks this VR headset is super super recommended because it, for the price point it's going to be able to bring you in the whole experience but really consider just if the FOV is a trade-off that doesn't scare you so much and by the way the price point of course make it perfect for portability where you can bring it everywhere and also because it's very sturdy i think this is a perfect device for portability out now in the market and that's why i will consider to buy this really for portability and the fact that you're gonna have all the experience possible right now in the market with just 200 dollars or little more and that's pretty pretty good anyway guys if you liked the video like if you didn't like the video dislike let me know in the comment below what you think about the hp and your experience if you have it and subscribe to the channel for more about vr and tech in general i see you guys in the next video ciao okay guys if you got here thank you so much for watching really really appreciate it or maybe you know about the giveaway thank you so much for watching anyway and if you don't know about the giveaway i'm gonna explain you in a second so we're giving away keys for blaster universe that is a game similar to space pirate trainer but with more guns as a storyline and keys for minecraft that everyone knows minecraft is the super massive game uh, that works in vr and not in vr it's just amazing anyway to be part of the giveaway just leave a comment below in this video and you're gonna know if you're the winner in the next video and same thing is gonna be for the next time so if you don't win this time you're gonna be able to win the other time or if you're super lucky you're gonna win two times so it's pretty pretty cool and easy be sure just to subscribe and leave a comment below that's it and now let's switch to the computer so we can find out who was the winner of the last giveaway that was in the last video where i was like using vr in the car so let's switch to the computer right now okay here we are and as the last time i'm gonna use a chrome plugin to pick up the winner from the last video so let's get here and pick a winner so three two there are not so many comments so Pretty nice for who commented. Three, two, one, let's go. And Murray is the winner. So we had a long conversation. I already read this conversation if you want to read it about open VR and the trick I used to use the controller. So feel free to check out the video about the snapping turn and locomotion in every VR game in with Windows Mixed Reality if you didn't yet. And congratulations, Marie. So I'm gonna leave over here my email so you can contact me and take your key so okay guys so thank you so much for watching again I see you in the next video remember to leave a comment below so you're gonna be able to be part of it again so ciao
And Marie, yes, I brought my girlfriend to dinner. Don't worry. 